This episode of Walk Me Through is dedicated to lowly sour grapes. Thanks for following me. Hey boys and girls, it's me, Mr. Orthopedia, with another episode of Walk Me Through. This is going to be post-commentary because I had a little hiccup with ScreenFlow. So anyway, we're going to continue the walkthrough for The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword for the Wii, so here we go. We are actually going to turn in a save right now, and... Actually, before I do that, I'm going to do something with the uh, Elgato Game Capture software. And after I'm done with that, we're gonna... No, I do not want to save right now. So, uh, here comes Zelda. Okay, Zelda, follow me. So we gotta go find my bird, and... Huh? Oh, there you are. Oh, those bastards. <sighs> Alright, let's cut you loose. Now, you see the way the ropes are arranged? You have to slice... If the ropes are vertical, you have to slice at them horizontally. If they're diagonal, you have to slice at them diagonally the other way. <laughs> I mean, you kind of get the gist of how the motion controls work, so... Now that we've gotten you free, we have another cutscene coming up. Press down on the Wii remote, and once you're in flight, use the Wii remote motion controls to steer your bird. Move up to climb, move down to descend, press the A button to dash, press the A button to dash, press the B trigger to brake. Click the Wii Remote like this to flap your wings to climb faster. And if you're braking, click the Wii Remote 
left to flap your wings and go back into flight. And I lost Zelda, so I think I'm gonna fly back to the island. Okay, we're back on the island, and we're going to turn in a save. <laughs> Our data has been saved, so uh, what we're going to do is... Yeah. Oh, not these no. apples again. Zelda to the rescue again. What the hell? <laughs> Thanks for bailing me out back there, Zelda. Again. Fucking asshole. Yeah, <laughs> I love that little intro. Hey. It sounded like uh, an intro you'd see on TV. <laughs> like an intro to a televised event. <laughs> anyway, here's the object of the race. You start the race by dashing off the edge of the platform. Call your bird with the down. Yeah, call your bird with down on the Wii Remote. Prep your Wii Remote like this to begin steering your bird. Flap. Again, the controls are the same. Flap your wings by flicking the Wii Remote. Tilt the Wii Remote left or right to steer your bird in those directions. Up and down to make your bird fly in those directions. Press A to dash. Press B to brake. Of course, 
it's a race, so you really wouldn't want to break. <laughs> And yes, Bruce, the headmaster hey. is on your case, too. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> uh, not the headmaster, I'm talking about Bruce. Bruce is the ass. Hey. Okay, now that we've taken flight, what we have to do is... Try not to be distracted by those asses. <laughs> While trying to grab at the bird. Hey. Quit interfering with me. I was. I almost got it. Oh. Ah. Ah. Hey, that's cheating. Oh. Jerk. That is cheating. And of course, I forgot to fix my life. Crap. Oh well. Hey, stop throwing eggs at me. That's cheating. Got it. You would stop distracting me. Lost you again. Crap. Oh, there you are. Almost got it. Yeah, got it. Yeah, suck on that, Drew. Again, that statue looks like the Virgin Mary. You will again see the link to the uh, comparison pic on my Tumblr page in the description box below.
and we get the sail cloth. Cool. It smells good. <laughs> it smells so <laughs> Oh, Nintendo, have you been watching too many of those Dragon Ball Z episodes involving Master Roshi? That guy is a perv. <laughs> what does it smell like, you perv? Is it, is it, does it smell like Zelda's body? <laughs> Come on. Oh, come on, you're a family-oriented business. Come on, for damn sake. Oh no, don't push me over- oh! Shoot! Okay, now we have to use the Wii Remote to position me, press the uh, B trigger to open your sail clock. Yeah, parachute the rest of the way down, of course I can solve it. And we did it, that's the end of the ceremony. Uh oh, looks like it's about to hit the fan. Oh no. Tornado. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Well, what a an un <laughs> what an unsavory turn of events. Oh man, that that must suck. <laughs> so now we hear an auto-tuned yeah, we hear an auto-tuned spirit. Sounds like an auto-tuned voice coming from the hallway. So let's just follow it. through the upper section of the college and let's go out the door oh, she can actually go through doors okay he's leading me to the statue again so she's going to lead me in a different direction. Whoa, that would have been a nasty fall. So you got to be very careful. Oh, what's this? It's a stray cat. What? <laughs> it looks like they turned very vicious at night. That's not good. Oh. Alright, let's move on to the rest of the way, defeating some baddies along the way. Uh-oh, we got a shimmy across. Uh, yeah. Now, again, as I explained before, when shimmying over a very dangerous area, like a pitfall or a lava pit, which you'll see a lot of later on, and if your stamina meter runs out, you'll lose your grip and fall to your death. <laughs> Jelly blobs. Jelly blobs are used again for ingredients. Yeah, a jelly blob can be used as an ingredient for upgrading your gear or potions and such, which will be explained later on. There she goes, she opened a way into the statue. So here we are at the statue, and we're gonna meet up with this auto tune spirit. Thank you. 
con ellas ni yo ni me... Now she's prompting us to uh, ready our... to pull out the sword to do this. Point your Wii Remote up. And then turn it upside down. And I think you press and hold A as you pull it out. And we get the Goddess Sword. Yay! Oh, 
Okay, now we get part of the uh, stone tablet, which depicts an unusual map of a place we've never been to before. Okay, let's walk up to the altar. Ready your Wii Remote. Flick it at the uh, insignia over there near the altar. And a, uh, a pedestal will rise and we gotta put the stone tablet right there. Now we can see whether or not there's actually, now we can actually see if there's any terrain below the clouds now that we have the, uh, now that we have a beam of light, but that's going to have to wait for another video. Yeah, that's going to have to wait for the next video. So until then, this has been Walk Me Through, I'm Mr. Orthopedia saying peace. And that's a wrap. See you soon.